Convicted murderer Shana Hubers could learn any minute if she will be eligible for early parole. A July, a jury convicted Hubers earlier this year of a murder three years ago of her on-again, off-again boyfriend, Ryan Poston. Hubers is back at the Campbell County Courthouse today trying to convince a judge she was a domestic violence victim during her relationship with Poston. Local 12's Jeff Hirsch is live in Newport with where things stand right now. Hi, Jeff. Good afternoon. This is not an appeal of the murder conviction. This is a parole domestic violence designation hearing. And it's, you know, there's a lot at stake for Shana Hubers because if she is deemed to be a domestic violence victim by Judge Fred Stein, then she would be eligible for parole a lot earlier. In fact, if the judge accepts the jury's recommendation of 40 years in prison, he doesn't have to. But if he does accept that, then Shana Hubers would be eligible for parole in eight years instead of 20 years. Now, under Kentucky law, someone can only be a domestic violence victim if they're cohabitating with someone else, not just boyfriend, girlfriend, but long-term cohabitating and serious sharing of resources. The prosecution said that Hubers and Poston were not permanent, not long-term. In fact, she slept with a lot of other men during that time. The defense argued that fidelity is not relevant in determining continuity of a relationship. I don't believe that just because someone is unfaithful does not mean that there's, there's no continuity, continuity to the relationship. If a married woman files for an EPO in our, in our family court and it comes out during the domestic violence hearing that she's cheating on her husband with various people, that does not mean that she does not get her domestic violence order. That just means that she's being unfaithful. It doesn't negate um, all of the other factors and all of the other things that are very important there. So, you know, the, talking about Shana being unfaithful and um, really is just, just a smear. It's just to show that she's not a good person or that she was unfaithful. That has absolutely nothing to do with the facts. I'm not here to make her look like a liar and look like a tramp. She has done that all by herself. Her own words, Your Honor. I have not been as much of a whore as I was in 2012. Not my words. I'm not the liar. I'm not the one who's smearing her. Those are her own words, her characterization of herself. I don't know how we get beyond these five words. Words that she spoke within an hour of the time that she murdered Ryan Poston. I do not live with him. In fact, the Commonwealth's attorney, Michelle Snodgrass, said that uh, Shana Hubers was actually, at the end of that relationship, it could be argued she was stalking Ryan Poston, and he probably would have wanted to try to obtain a protective order against her. But because they are not domestic partners in terms of the domestic violence statute, at least that's what the prosecutor said, and Ryan Post being an attorney, she said he knew. Would have been a waste of time. Live at the Campbell County Courthouse, Jeff Hirsch, Local 12 News. Back to you. That was quite an exchange. Thanks, Jeff. Yep, Coming up right. on Local 12 News Live at 5, you'll hear what Shannon Hubers had to say on the witness stand today. And, of course, if we get a decision on anything related to this case in the meantime, we'll let you know as soon as we know.